But I would say this, okay, look, if you want to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to vote for a Trump as opposed to a, a Biden or a Clinton or anybody else, I think you just have to ask yourself one question. And that question is, do I reasonably expect that if Donald Trump were elected, there are children who will not be aborted, who otherwise would be at risk of abortion? Do I even have a reasonable expectation that even one child would be saved from abortion because Donald Trump was elected? What do you think? Hopefully. Hopefully. Is that a reasonable expectation based upon what we've already seen? I suppose so too. And I would think that that expectation that even one child would be spared that that is worth a vote, that that one child's life is worth that vote. And I think that one could justify casting that vote on the basis of a reasonable, even hopeful expectation that if Trump were elected, at least that one child would be spared, as opposed to if President Biden being quote unquote reelected, who wants to abort, basically is in favor of aborting every child up to birth, right? I mean, he's very, very blatant about that, very open about it, that every single conceived child in America should be subject, subject to abortion up to birth. That's his goal. Then I, I do think if the choice is between the two of those, then one, I think one could cast his vote reasonably and rightly for the life of that, even that one child who could be spared. That's my thought on the subject, for what it's worth. But again, there's such a, a heated debate out going, I'm sure there are people who will not like that idea at all, but I, th I, th I believe it is true. Yeah. Well, regardless, that's a rather sad state of things when... Uh, it really is a sad state of things. Those are the two primary options. Yes, so, it's true, Tom. Very sad.